Are you thinking of moving to Florida? Do you want to live in a terrific location on the Treasure Coast? How about Palm City, where it's an easy commute? Even more, how about a community that has so many different home type choices in a man gate area, which is well maintained and one of the most coveted neighborhoods in the area? If that's the case, then I have a place for you called the Meadows at Martin Downs. In fact, it's so perfect with all of the home choices that you, your friends, your family could all live within the same neighborhood yet have your own individual style. In this video, I am going to tell you about this community, show you around the multiple neighborhoods and what the area around this community is like and tell you about how fabulous this location is for all sorts of things. But first, I'm Maria Wells and I love working with buyers and sellers in this great area named the Treasure Coast. There may be some other neighborhoods you would like me to tour and give you information so write them below or if you're in the middle of buying or selling or have some questions about real estate write them below I promise I will get right back to you and remember to subscribe and hit the bell to receive my videos released weekly well the Meadows at Martin Downs is located in Palm City within Martin County on the treasure coast of Florida and Palm City is known for its scenic beauty lush greenery and waterfront views one of the main attractions in Palm City is the access to water waterways, including the St. Lucie River and the Indian River Lagoon. These waterways offer opportunities for boating, fishing, and other water-based activities. There are also some terrific parks and nature preserves in Palm City. The Meadows is an amenity-rich community. All of the separate neighborhoods within the Meadows have the same amenities with a little different HOA fee, which I will discuss as I get to each neighborhood. Well, the fees include the man security that I mentioned, basic cable, high-speed internet, lawn maintenance, playground, tot lot, community pool, basketball, pickleball, bocce, sidewalk, street lights, and tennis. Now you are allowed to have two pets per household and rentals are allowed after you own the home for 12 months. They must have a minimum of a four-month lease and you can lease one time during a calendar year. So let's get to the homes and we'll start with the Courtyard Quad Villas in Sun Terrace. They are an open floor plan with two bedrooms and two baths. They have large screened in patios and are about 1374 square feet. They were built in 1993 with poured concrete and some have garden views with hot tubs. All of these homes that I'm going to describe were built by DeVosta, which builds a quality home. These homes are priced around the low to mid 300s. Now the HOA fee for this development is $358 per month and it includes all all exterior maintenance, which means roofs, painting, etc. Next, we're going to move on to the Lakemont Village townhomes. They are two story, two bedroom, two and a half baths. All bedrooms are on the second floor and they were built between 1989 and 1992. They are approximately 1374 square feet with CBS construction. They have great private courtyards for you to enjoy. They are priced from about $280,000 to the mid 300s and it depends on if they've been remodeled or not and the upgrades and the location. The HOA fee for this development is $458 per month which includes the exterior maintenance roofs etc. Now we're going to move into a little bigger community which is called Ridgewood Village. This consists of patio homes and capri homes. They are single family neighborhoods and they're all zero lot lines. They're single story, two to three bedrooms, two baths, and actually it's like having two master suites or end suites. They all have two car garages and some may have pools and some may be located on the water or possibly both. They are poured concrete and priced between the low 400s and mid 400s and the HOA fee here is $477 a month. Next we're going to move into the Bedford, Brighton Village, Greenwich Village, and Mayflower. They are single story story, three bedrooms, two baths, two car garages, and again poured concrete. They are priced from the high 400s to the mid 600s and that's because many of them have been redone and new roofs and they're absolutely gorgeous. Some even have full house generators. They are about 1563 to 1952 square feet and the HOA fee is $350 a month. Now the owner maintains the exterior of these homes which means the roof and the painting along with the backyard. The association takes care of all the common areas and the front yards. Don't you agree there is a lot of great choices in the meadows? My goodness, you 
you have the small patio homes, the townhomes, the little villas, which are easy to maintain, and then the little larger homes. So you can have, as I mentioned before, your friends, your family, all in the same community. Palm City has a number of great restaurants to enjoy and is a 10 minute drive to historic downtown Stewart, where you can have fun strolling the boutique shops and restaurants along with unique coffee shops and the riverfront to walk along. From there, it's only about 15 minutes to our lovely beaches and the town of Jensen Beach and a little further to Hope Sound. Well, with Palm City situated close to I-95 and the Florida Turnpike, it makes it easy 30 minute commute to Palm Beach International Airport and all the things that Palm Beach has to offer, such as theater, great shopping and restaurants. And you would be located two hours south to Orlando, which is an easy visit for all that area has to offer. If you would like more information on this terrific community and all the different neighborhoods, please comment below and I will get right back to you. Remember to subscribe and in the meantime, let's go watch this video on more information about this terrific area called the Treasure Coast of Florida. Happy house hunting!